Hello and welcome back to A Town on Tour, the high score club stream in which we, Martin and I, go around doing stuff on Animal Crossing, like visiting other people's islands and having dreams of visiting islands in those dreams for fun. Uh, this week, <laughs> our guest is Lex. Hi. Uh, we're going to go and visit a exciting dream island that Lex has has picked out for us. We're in a slightly different looking studio today and you might notice that I'm uh, doing the intro and that's because we've done a bit of a, a swap and so rather than Martin hosting from his island, I'm hosting from my island and so we're now in this alternative studio. Ooh. Oh, I should I should flip, flip over to the gameplay so people can oh, see what we're talking about. There we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. I mean, firstly, now people can see. you've got such a great collection of gyroids. Thank you. If you had to marry one of these gyroids, who would you pick? Arthoid. Oh, that's a quick, a quick answer. Oh, I have him outside my house. He's so cute. It's like a little dog because it just sits there going. Aww. It's really cute. <laughs> I like middle shelf number one. Middle shelf of what? Oh, with the eyebrow, the, the monobrow. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. This studio is, is split into two areas. This is the on air, like the talking section. And then over here, we've got the kind of chill out area, the breakout room. The story of the froggy chair is that I just, there was a froggy chair available and I bought it and I thought I couldn't really not put it in the studio. So, what's with this pattern on the froggy chair? I've never seen this. If you take him to um, Cyrus, you can customize your froggy chair in various different ways and i think this is like a poison arrow frog or a dart frog one of the, the jungle frogs ah oh. one of the frogs you're not meant to lick yes just like the chair you're not supposed to lick this chair and okay, I, okay. Do, I recommend that you don't lex what have you been up to in animal crossing what have I'm you been doing to seeing seeing your new island how's it yeah. going last time it was sort of like a like a sleepy little country seaside town it's definitely becoming more urbanized and more like a city so it's Ooh. like progressing <laughs> i have more control over my villages than ever because now i can uh i can decorate the houses including oh, yeah. like the inside and the outside <laughs> yeah. it's becoming more and more like the truman show it went with every yeah. day <laughs> Yeah, so I did Carolos first because he's been on the island the longest. Well, that is a massive plus because I remember like over time so many of us were like, well actually my first two villages are like my true blues and it's like it sucks that their houses have to be like the most horrible ones. Yeah. So well, it's, it's can, nice that we can fix that. You don't even have to like design their houses. You can talk to Isabel now and if you have someone who's been there from the very beginning and you talk to Isabel, you can change their house to like the upgraded house. I did not know that. Ooh. Yeah, uh, yeah. New information. This, I don't have anyone to test that on though. This is why we invite knowledgeable people onto this stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, sometimes you want certain looking houses for a particular aesthetic yep. in an area. And I can see people on Instagram have been like choosing villages based on what their houses look like. And I've never done that. I've just sort of like worked with what I had. But now I can do whatever I want. You can have <laughs> endless the control. The personality yeah. and the yeah interior design that you want. We've uh, talked quite a bit about Instagram. And I believe that's where Lex, you found today's island. Always just looking on Instagram to see what everyone's doing. So I can get soak up codes. lots of inspiration. <laughs> yeah, get some codes. Shall we go and take a look? Yeah. I'm going to kick you off unceremoniously now. Okay. So thank you very much for visiting. And Lovely you'll, studio. You'll stay here in spirit while guiding me around the island. Right. Here we are. Ooh. Look, look, look at it uh, flickering away. It's, it's got it's got like the hockey side flag. It's got a lovely, Ooh, yeah. loving the courtyard vibe. I and love this, this item too, this archway that's in the front. Yes, one of the new ones. Yeah, yeah, I was so excited to find that. This pine tree that's very hard to see. That's such a good item, and it's hidden away. Oh, it's got there. like a like bonsai tree style like shaping. Yeah, I yeah. love those. I had never even seen this. Must is this new as well? Do you think? Yeah, yep. gotta be. I love the scooter. I haven't, I haven't got any any vehicles yet. I haven't got any vehicles in my game. That scooter again, it adds like so, so much. I'd love to be able to hop on that scooter and, and get going. Oh, I know, right? Imagine that's got to be the next, the next, uh, the next Animal Crossing. We all get, we all have to drive to each other's villages. Wow, this is really look how effective the, that is. The banners plus the plus the portcullis is that what it's called? This really looks like a building. 
How have um, they done that? Yeah, these Sorry. banners are great. I haven't seen these before. So break this down for me. What am I looking at? I'm looking at the portcullis, right? What's yeah. behind it in elevators? That's a, that's a simple panel behind it there. And then above it is another another one of the medieval wall type Damn. Yeah, so things. Medieval side wall, I think. That, I've been using some of those. They're good. That thing's filthy in a good way. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I know this is Japan themed. But to, but to me, it's giving me like a sense of like um, Paris, where there's like lots of lots of old buildings that have been repurposed as like shops and stuff. So it has that kind of like old city feel with like a kind of modern edge to it. But I know this is obviously Japanese themed, but it's with a Seven Eleven. With a Seven Eleven, is that a new item? Because that's not that's not a texture, right? Is that a texture? Oh, the standing that... advert. Yeah, that's a new item, I think. That's such a cool little illustration. This is the back of the bus stop, I guess. Which yeah, I haven't I've seen, not hadn't seen, seen the before. Back before. And I there's didn't another. Realise it had posters. Yeah, the custom panel for the poster on the right. How, sorry, how is that being done? <laughs> well, I, maybe you can just customise two different panels on the poster. Got it, got it, got it. Or oh no, no, no. Okay, so maybe the blue, the blue bus stop comes with the the oil can uh, poster, and the brown one comes with whatever this other advert is. That must be it. I love that the realistic detail of how like this got this like street mess, but it's like hidden. So it's like just out of the way of like the main the main boulevard. I've just noticed the kind of the crack the like crack textures in the in the asphalt tarmac. Is that the same thing? Asphalt tarmac, whatever it's called. That's cool. That's appalling. <laughs> That's so someone needs to get this. Raise the... Someone needs to report it. Get somebody it get somebody get a gyro on that now to raise to raise uh, oh. raise money. This, uh, that one with the green hair, or the, like the brush hair, I haven't seen before. Isn't it amazing that we that they brought gyroids back and they just made them 5,000 times better and more charismatic? Oh, they're so cute now. It's great that they've managed to turn people who would have previously hated gyroids into gyroid converts as well, as a result. Because there's a lot more variety in their colour palettes. It feels to me like they're, they're more like, they're more alive than they were before. Like in the past, I kind of thought, saw them more as shrinky. You explain it on the, the A-Town podcast about the origin of the of, of the of the gyros and the tradition that they they come from now they're it's like they're alive before it's like they were haunted oh wait yes you go that house. i am gonna go in the house don't worry okay. i was gonna go i was gonna i was just gonna go down and look at the gyroids uh, sorry i, I was want to interrupt, but this house just looks so beautiful oh this isn't what i expected oh pirate thing. Oh. that's one of the things i was doing before the update came out to keep me going on animal crossing was always looking for washed up seagulls so I could get all this pirate stuff. So it's good to see it pay off. Amazing. Command me, which way should we go? Oh, we gotta go uh, north. Left. You know, oh no, go with Lex, go with Lex. Lex is our guest, so I am gonna Sorry, go I was going, go I was going with the with the uh, the routine order that, that people seem to fixate on, but obviously, you know, Lex, Oh, well, you, this, you, is you, my, this is my you, routine order. Yeah, you march to the beat of a different drum and that's why we love you. Now, what do we reckon this room is? Is it the living room? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's luxurious is what it is. Oh, this kitchen island too. I'm so happy to have Cyrus and Reese now because I just had that in one colour for so long and now I can have it in every colour. It's just very exciting. It's not, it's nice to have Cyrus and Reese just back, like, no matter what. It's, it, was, it's, it was sad to have them limited to just, like, a couple of days every year. A bit harder to... Oh, you can do... Oh. Oh, that's cool. There, there we, we go. go. Look at that. Yeah. Really good. Look oh. at the detail of the noodles underneath there. Yes. Oh, that's so good. The problem is, uh, they give us more, and I want more. Now they've given us more. I'm like, can we get? <laughs> can we get cutlery? <laughs> well, this one. Oh. There you go. Yes. I hey, do want cutlery I want now. some chopsticks and next to the ramen though. The mm. spoon. Although it does make me anxious when there's like food on the stove in this and there's no one in. It would that's be okay. really Wait, shocking to come home and find your house is burnt down in Animal Crossing. <laughs> Oh, Ooh, so steamy in this here. This is good. Yeah. Is that steam? Is that, is that from polishing, we reckon? No, no you can't I polish know what this is. This is, um, this is the, it's a Sahara floor, and then you put rugs underneath it. I've done this before because it looks so good. This is another Ooh, classic this feel. Is nice. This is just very luxuriant, you know. Oh, the, the, the sofa in front of the fire, a little a rug desk. in the corner. Yeah. Uh, on the chest of drawers, this person flies a lot. Oh, yeah, is that what that means? I've, I've not seen this in real life yet. I think this might be like the top reward for flying. I'm still, I'm still waiting for the plane one day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a long way from it. 
I reckon. Oh, look at this! Ooh. I love it. I love it when you get the row of arcade machines capped by an arcade machine. Underrated arrangement that, of the does items. That, does that show a true, like, real-life inspiration behind it? I, I feel maybe, yeah. How many times in your life have you thought, I need to get one of those electricity balls? I think about it all the time. I've never done it. I should probably just do it. I spent, I spent a lot of the 19, 1990s thinking about wanting one of those, yeah. I should just, just get one put it right there. I got a lot of cool that. on the stream. But not, uh, not one of those balls. This is a lovely oh, little area. Nice. It is yeah. using like classic items, like most of the stuff I recognise from before, but brilliantly done. And then that behind, look. Now that's great. Those um, yeah. the lantern barrel things. With a lot of the kind of way that these designs are ha hacked together, you have to kind of suspend disbelief. But now there's lots of like new tricks that make it kind of more because things are more detailed now, like the archways and stuff. You have to like suspend the disbelief less, which I think makes it easier to have different feeling zones. Oh my god, I haven't seen these boats. This is Red Beach. Oh yeah, yeah that's great. Hey. Not seen the Oh, this is this explains why in the Discord someone was like, can someone send me a yacht? And I just laughed at that when I saw it like at the time I was like, <laughs> yeah, of course there's not a yacht, but there is. Oh man, this is so cool. This is the nicest TV. building I've ever seen. Like uh, the fact they've used the stalls and the stalls make it look like windows when you go through yeah. it. Like, it's so cool. It's a lot of bookcases here too. I know. <laughs> <laughs> What I'm getting the sense from the sign is they've got a problem with uh, the council because there's potholes and there's just rubbish collection, rubbish has been left. <laughs> yeah, it's piling up. Uh, one of the Happy Home customers asked for a half finished house. <laughs> oh, wow. Great. Because I so just wanted cool. to do like a quick one before bed and I'm like, oh, perfect. Yes, you'll, you'll do very nicely. There's an art to making something look half done in this game, and it's really like pushes, really like kind of. Because I think a lot of people, they they you know they they're really obsessed with making like beautiful islands and beautiful, like everything is perfect. So when the game is like, actually now you've got to make something half finished, I guess it must. It, it's like a whole new challenge for a certain type of player. This island makes me want to flatten my entire island. <laughs> let's do it. Again. No, let's go do it. Show us, show us what you've I got might. before you flatten it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I haven't Ooh. done enough to show yet. <laughs> <laughs> so I might just flatten and start, and then I'll oh show God. you. Sorry, I almost oh, swore. Is, cool. is that an item? What this this one here? The the the, tra the train track changer. Is that a texture? The track changer. This, this, a texture. Is a, this is a texture, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, when I flatten and rebuild my island, it's just going to look exactly <laughs> like this island. This is <laughs> so good. <laughs> Well, I haven't seen that LCD. Really well. I haven't seen that LCD screen before either. I've got that. I, I bought that in the um, the Happy Home Paradise shop. Is is the t is the texture customizable? It absolutely is. Yeah. Jeez, Louise. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely up there with. The uh, this is, I said this in the stream before. Like, how good is that? Like, plan awning going to be when you stack a few together? And here yeah. it is. Now you know. This, oh, well, this, this. It feels like it goes on forever, this island, with, with that background. Even no. though we're actually right at the top, almost. But it doesn't feel overdone. You know, when we went to Disneyland, that island was like, which I guess that's appropriate for a theme park. It was mm. like, stuff, 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 stuff. And this has, like, breathing room. When you sit on the bamboo bench and, and you, you look back to the castle, the castle and the car, that amazes me because up until the update, We'd only seen this achieved really with miniatures, mm. but now there's that's literally that's usable. That's a real location yeah. behind you. Sorry, I've never seen that van or the or the logo on it. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's that's amazing. Who is this guy? Who's this little bear with the letter? And when can we get merchandise of him? Or her? No, well, I'm going to assume work. that Jesse and Autumn are the names of the creators of this island. I just want to thank them. Yes, Jesse is yeah. on the Instagram as the creator, yeah. J Jesse, you've made an amazing island. This is spectacular. Diner looking so yeah. nice. Yeah! Oh, I love all these interiors. I feel like they're really in line with high school club members and yeah. like what we all like to make, because I love yes. to make a diner. Oh, the thing is that I hadn't even considered diners got a massive level up with all the new food. Yeah. I'm going to go wild. I'm going to go to the basement first. Oh, David. Ooh.
really shaking yeah. things up. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's been doing it for two years. Got this free. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, is this one of the best games ever? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I'm it's definitely it... going to get an Animal Crossing tattoo at some point. Oh. <laughs> what the, what's the shortlist? What's the shortlist of ideas? Um, maybe the like the flower you get for a five star island. I oh, think that would be a good one. That's just, yeah, it's like a it. nice image outside the game. Yep. And if you don't know the game, you're like, oh, what a nice flower. You've earned, you've earned that. Obviously, my favorite favorite thing is when people tour, tour take us on a tour of their own islands. But seeing the dream islands with like people is really really fun too. I feel like we're all on holiday together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Under under eight bit is, is saying we should take a photo of that that empty basement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be great. And then pop it, that on Instagram and tag yeah. the person. Yeah. yeah, the YouTube thumbnail is like worst room on the best island. Anyone who's watching for the first time, we have a Discord server that's free for everyone to join if you want to. Just go and click on the uh, the link from the Twitch page or YouTube video. And if you are watching this on YouTube, don't forget to hit subscribe, press that bell, and leave a comment and everything to make Auntie Susan know to serve this video to more people. Because we're heading to 206 subscribers, everybody. It's the big leagues now. The big 206. So thank you very much to Lex for joining us today. And thank you very much for your brilliant suggestion. We can now go away and have a good think about what our islands are like in comparison. We can go away and have a good cry. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but we are really looking forward to touring your island and other high school clubbers' islands. Yeah, you can follow us, if you're not already, on, on Twitter, on Instagram, uh, and on YouTube. You can listen to uh, the A-Town podcast, which is all about Animal Crossing. There's an actual new episode was released earlier this year. So that's worth checking out, isn't it? Um, heaven forbid. Heaven forbid. Maybe there'll be another episode in the next six months to a year. <laughs> <laughs> who, who knows? Yeah. Thank you very much, everybody. And see you again next week. Thanks, everybody. Goodbye. Should you